I was going to say hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy, but I realised that's not right. <laughs> um, hello everyone, welcome to my new channel. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's something that I have been thinking about for ages and I've just decided that today is the day. For such a long time, I've really, really wanted my own personal channel where I can post anything I want and anything that you request. I love my English with Lucy channel. It's a channel that I have been working on for nearly three and a half years. I've had loads of success from it and it is my full-time job, but I can only post a very specific type of content there, which is education and English. So this channel is a bit of a passion project for me. It's an itch I have to scratch and I always receive messages asking about my hair, my makeup, my life, vlogs, will, loads about my personal life and I don't feel able to share that on the English with Lucy channel. So hopefully this will be a nice outlet, a creative outlet where I can share with you and you can request more from me um, and because it will be a smaller community hopefully I can get to know you a bit more. One rule that I have decided that I will have for this channel is that I will have subtitles on every single video. This is simply because I want everyone who watches the English with Lucy channel to have a chance at understanding everything I say on this channel. So on my Instagram, which is where I share more of my personal life, uh, you can follow it at, at Lucy. Yeah, it really is at Lucy. I do not deserve that name, but I got it. <laughs> well, I shared a story initiating the assumptions tag which is a tag that I've seen going around YouTube. And I always thought, oh, I'd quite like to do that. But obviously it wasn't appropriate for my channel. But now on this channel, I can do it. So I asked for your assumptions and I'm going to address them. Let's get started with the lesson. No, it's not a lesson, Lucy. God, it's gonna take me such a long time to un unlearn all of my English with Lucy habits. Am I gonna go like this at the end? We will see. Okay, so. I hope these aren't mean. <laughs> People can be really vicious on my Instagram. Right, my first one. Oh, someone says you're going to have a baby in the near future. Right, I'm going to be very honest here. Um, firstly, I am not pregnant. Um, I am, if you don't know my situation, I am engaged to my fiance, Will. Um, we're going to get married in 2020. Um, and we have no plans to have children as of yet, but we know that we would like children if we're able to have children. My prediction, if I had to predict, is that I will have babies, or my first child, when I'm 29 and I'm 24. Oh yeah, for some reason I thought I was 25. <laughs> I'm 24 now, I think I'll have my first child when I'm 29. Uh, because my mother had her first at 29, my grandmother did, my great-grandmother did, and my great-great-grandmother did. That's quite late for back in those days. Um, so I feel a lot of pressure to carry on this family tradition. But I definitely would like children at some point, not just yet, because I'm not ready for one. It would not be appropriate for me to have a baby right now. <laughs> okay, someone else says, you have nice skin without much effort. Uh, this could not be further from the truth. I struggled so much with my skin when I was younger. Um, I always had spots, always, and I always used to plaster on loads and loads of highly pigmented, high coverage foundation. Um, but in, and I remember when I first got together with Will, I was just so nervous about taking off my makeup in front of him. And I think one day I finally did it and I think I cried. <laughs> because my skin was really, really spotty. And that was even, I was actually on YouTube at that time, but I just used to wear loads of makeup, loads of powder, and I have a, a ring light, which really helped. Um, I could make a video about my skincare and how I cured my acne actually, um, but in the end I went on some medication that cleared it up, and now I have a really strict skincare routine and hair care routine. I am a bit of a, a princess when it comes to skincare skin and hair and makeup. <laughs> I just find it all really interesting. It's definitely a hobby for me. So yeah, if you'd like a video about skincare, hair care, makeup or anything, I'd love to share it with you. I'm not an expert, but throughout the years, being on camera, being at events, I have learned a lot of tips and I've learned what works consistently for me. 
apart from my eyeliner today, that was not good. Didn't go well. <laughs> Someone assumes that I was popular at secondary school and had loads of boyfriends. Um, this was not, no, that's not true at all. I wish, I really wanted to be popular. I was, I always wanted to be popular, but I never quite achieved it. And if I did get in with the popular crowd, I quickly realised it was too much effort to stay there. Um, I've never really been good at having a big group of friends. I've always had lots of small, I've had lots of individual meaningful friendships. Um, but yeah, I'm just not naturally comfortable in a huge crowd. Um, I'm fine on a night out, but it's maintaining relationships and maintaining fr um, friendships with big crowds that I'm just, just doesn't work for me. I've tried really hard. I've, I would love to have like a group of girlfriends and we go away all the time, but it's just not gonna happen. And I, I have accepted that now. I am looking forward to maybe having a baby one time and meeting all the mums at school. Maybe, maybe that will be my chance. Oh, and boyfriends? No, not really either. See, I went for a, I went to a girls school for four years um, and then I went back to um, a co-ed school um, and I had one boyfriend, my first ever boyfriend, my first proper boyfriend I had when I was 16 and then after that I was with a guy for four years and then I was with Will. So I've only had two long-term relationships and my first boyfriend, George. He's very nice. <laughs> okay, there are a lot of assumptions that I'm rich. Um, I imagine this assumption is from my accent because it's quite, it could be considered quite posh. Um, and also maybe from my Instagram because sometimes you see me go on holiday. Um, I wouldn't call myself rich. I think I had a great upbringing. Uh, my parents, what, I wouldn't call them rich, but they definitely did well. At the moment, I definitely earn more than I ever thought I could earn on YouTube. I think I, my salary is much higher than it could have been if I'd gone down a traditional route. Uh, but definitely not rich. We live fairly frugally. Um, I don't live an overly extravagant lifestyle. I'm really into living within my means. I get a real kick out of saving money. Um, but we do live well as well. I would say that Will and I are very generous people but we're good at not overspending and we're quite financially savvy. Um, there are lots of podcasts, I listen to lots of financial podcasts. I love the FT, the Financial Times Money podcast. I like, I enjoy looking into investing and saving and just making the most of from your money. Maybe that's something I can talk about at, at some point as well. Um, but yeah, I like to think that I'm quite money savvy, but I've never been given um, a load of money. My, pe my dad gave me 500 pounds um, as a business loan when I wanted to start the channel because I needed to buy a camera and a lens and a tripod, but he made me write him a business plan. I had to pay it back with interest. The interest was like six pounds. <laughs> so I paid him back 506 pounds 37 or something, but it was the principle of it. My parents never gave me money and I always worked. I had a job since I was 14, 14 or 15 I started at the pub I've, um, but I would say that we came from a nice area, good income, and I had private education for four years of my schooling. Someone says that you are satisfied with your life and goals and are looking for new challenges. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm doing right now. It's something I've been thinking about for so long. Um, and I just, I was waiting for like the perfect video or the perfect creative idea. And I just thought, actually, I just wanna come and talk on camera start the channel very, very gently, not make a big song and dance about it. Um, and I don't have a specific goal in mind with this. I just wanna see how it goes. I would kick myself if I didn't do it. So here I am doing it. <laughs> Got lots of assumptions about my hair and whether it's dyed or not. So I can say I've never dyed my hair. However, I went uh, on holiday um, in November to start recording and it definitely went a lot lighter and now it's starting to grow through a bit. Um, but no, I've never dyed my hair. I have always been this color. Well, I was bright ginger when I was born and then my blonde hair growed, growed? <laughs> English teacher Lucy. Uh, my blonde hair grew through and I had like this band of ginger hair. I'd, as a baby, I don't think I would have won any um, beautiful baby competitions. Let's just say that. 
So I've had a lot of assumptions about whether I am an extrovert or an introvert. A lot of people say extrovert, a lot of people say introvert. Um, I'm definitely confident in most situations, especially professional situations, because I feel like I've been running my channel for an, enough time now that I, I understand a lot more than I did at the beginning, obviously. <laughs> That'd be terrible if I didn't. Um, but social situations, so for example, meeting Will's family, um, sometimes being around them um, and his friends, I, I do feel really almost more nervous than I used to feel because I know that people have seen me on YouTube and even if they pretend they haven't, they always then say later that they have kind of checked out my channel and stuff. And I always think, oh God, they've seen me on camera and I am so over the top and so plastered in makeup and I bet they meet me in person and think, oh wow, she's so subdued and she wears a lot of makeup. <laughs> I don't know, I find it all a little, a little bit embarrassing um, because I definitely don't feel famous or anything because I live in a village in a very rural location. I just see other people in my village and my close friends I've had for ages. I never really get recognized or see anyone. So I think people see my number of followers and think, oh my God, she must be, you know, such a, <laughs> so arrogant. I always think people expect me to act a lot more like an influencer, if that makes sense. Uh, but really when I'm in a social situation, I, well, I never bring my phone with me. Oh, a lot of assumptions about my teeth. Um, so some people assume that they're not real. Some people assume that I whiten them. <laughs> so my teeth are my own. They're definitely my own because frankly, I would not pay <laughs> for wonky teeth like this. I've never had braces. I'm really lucky with my upper teeth because they're quite straight. My bottom teeth are not straight and they're almost becoming less straight as I get older. I think my dentist told me it's because I'm spending more time with my mouth shut and the muscles are pulling my teeth in. Who knows? Um, and yes, I have whitened them, but only at home. I've used some whitening kits and I use the occasional Crest white strip, although I haven't done that in a while. I do really look after my teeth flossing every day, brushing three times a day. Um, I never drink red wine. I only drink coffee with milk. Um, and if I do drink anything that's gonna stain, I drink it with a, a straw. And this is simply because I record pronunciation videos and stains get on my teeth quite easily. I go to the hygienist as well. Um, so yeah, I would say that tooth care, dental care <laughs> is one of my hobbies. Sad, isn't it? Ah, oh, someone says that I seem a bit lonely. Um, I've definitely gone through really lonely patches of my life. I think it would be impossible to be lonely with Will around. Um, I'm definitely happier in a relationship than I am out of one, but it was very important for me to be single for over a year and a half between my previous relationship and this one. Um, I have been lonely in the past. I get lonelier in summer because Will works longer hours, but then I work longer hours as well. So you might see me produce more content. And that's just because I'm filling my time. Since I've moved to a village, um, I used to live in cities and I found cities very lonely. I found it hard to meet people and make friends because I work from home um, and most people meet their friends through work. Um, but since I've moved to a village, I've met so many people and made so many friends. There are only like a thousand people living here but it's amazing. You can just pop into the pub, meet loads of people. Everyone's been really friendly. They're almost really excited when new people come to the village and they welcome you in. So yeah, I wouldn't call myself lonely at the moment. Oh, this is a good one. That I was an A-star student, that I was really, really dedicated to my studies. Oh, I wasn't. Um, so until from the ages of 14 to 16 in the UK, we do GCSE exams and I got four A stars and six A's. So A star is the best and then A is like the second best. So that was really good. That was quite high. Um, but then A levels, which you do from 16 to 18, I tanked them. They were dreadful. Um, I just felt like I had reached my peak of natural intelligence. And then I had to apply myself to work harder and I just didn't. 
um, I don't think I was mature enough at that age, although I was mature in many, many ways, I wasn't intellectually mature enough to apply myself to actually do the work and do the studying. I also wasn't interested at all in my subjects. Now I'm really interested in English and I'm really interested in marketing and making videos. I'm so happy to apply myself and do all the necessary research and write courses and write videos. Uh, but back then I just didn't have the work in me. I was really lazy when it came to school. It wasn't good and I didn't get to um, go to like the high, the top universities. Um, I didn't actually want to because I wanted to spend as much time in Spain as possible. That's all I really cared about. So I chose a uni specifically so that I could go and spend a year and a half in Spain as part of my degree. Um, but yeah, good assumption, wrong assumption. <laughs> Assumptions about my height, everyone thinks I'm tall or not tall, someone says, probably like 5'5", five five. almost there, I'm 5'5 five five and a half. Um, and Will is 6'6", six six. so there's quite a space between us, I have to wear heels. <laughs> Lots of assumptions that I'm very neat and very organised. In my personal life, I am not. In my professional life, I am. My accounts are all very, very organised and my um, folders are all very organised, but my bedroom, I have to make such a conscious effort to keep everything clean. Yeah, I have to force myself to put things in their place. Um, I don't do it naturally. And Will doesn't either, so we're quite chaotic. A couple of people assume that I am addicted to exercise and I'm really careful with my diet. I love exercise. A big part of that is that I work from home and I live in a really beautiful area. So instead of staying in all day, I love going out for runs, for dog walks. Um, and also I get a real kick out of exercise classes and they are also a social event for me. So it's not just the benefit of exercise, it's also the benefit that I get to spend time outside in a beautiful area and I get to meet people and just be with people. <laughs> as well because otherwise I think I can just go a whole day if I wake up at five and Will leaves at 5 30 and then he comes back at nine sometimes I the whole day I've just seen my dog so it's good for me to get out of the house diet wise I'm not obsessed with my diet we eat incredibly healthily sometimes if I'm trying to be really healthy I will carry I will count calories up until dinner time, but dinner time I'll never count calories. It's just to make sure that I don't overindulge because I'm working from home. Um, so I like to make sure that I'm just on track. But honestly, if I don't do that, I don't really notice much of a difference. So I'd maybe do that on like the run up to a holiday so I know that I'm looking the best I can. Um, but yeah, I'm quite lucky with my metabolism, but who knows if that's gonna continue much longer because I am nearing 25 and apparently it all changes the closer you get to 30. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I hope this wasn't boring for you. Um, I always really like to get to know you other YouTubers that I follow um, and like to listen to them talk about themselves. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I would love in the comments below recommendations for videos that you would like to see on this channel. The English with Lucy channel is not going anywhere. Um, I'm not leaving it, it's my job, I can't leave it, <laughs> and I definitely don't want to. Um, I'll still be uploading every Wednesday. So yes, I can't wait to get to know more of you and see what this channel does and what it brings. Um, but yes, yeah, sending you lots and lots of love and I will see you very, very soon. I can't resist it. <laughs>